but this is crucial because when you set targets those targets will help you in the beginning to find what you believe those activities need to be done to achieve them. But guess what? You're not going to achieve them. And that's okay because the whole point of starting is to learning what works and what doesn't work and then reassessing. And I call this, when you get into the execution, I call this close the gap. So you realize after a week or a month that this is what we did. This is what we achieved with what we did. Did it achieve our targets? Yes, fantastic. More than likely it won't be. But if no, well, what worked well? What helped us to get close? What didn't? What held us back? What do we need to do differently next month? What do more of and what do we do need to do less of? You keep doing this. Iteratively, you do it on a weekly basis. Then you do it on a monthly basis. But then on this 90-day um, re reconvening, reconvenience, um, you need to understand a few more things, right? And the big one is, again, did you achieve this first milestone? That's a big one. Then you need to reassess, well, is my moonshot vision still relevant? I know it's only been 90 days, but guess what? When you build your moonshot vision, that's your perception of when you have done nothing. When you start doing things, it's amazing how the mindset changes and things become more tangible. And then you understand, well, do you know what? I'm thinking more critically about my moonshot vision. And then you can say after 90 days, well, we've all absorbed a lot of information. Is it still relevant? Do we need to tweak it ever so slightly? Do, is there another element that we haven't thought about before that we want to add to it? And this is crucial because more often than not, and, to, and I'd say more often, more than 90% of vision should evolve. Is that wrong? No, it should do. Things change, you know, everything changes. So you need to change. You need to evolve that as required. You know, either you can lead it or the marketplace can lead you. You need, but you need to keep reassessing that all the time. And if, it, if it's not relevant, the choices are, well, if it is relevant, keep going as you go. Do we need to tweak a little bit? So you pivot a little bit. But then there could be a, a major pivot. It could be, well, some things happen drastically that we need to rethink. And that could happen at three months or six months, but you need to adapt. You can't keep doing that tunnel vision focus, which many companies do on their five-year plans. No, the whole point of a vision is to create your journey and evolve the path as you go. As the marketplace as your customers need as your team need so many variables to consider so this is the whole this is the crucial the final element of implementing it and guess what when you do this well you know it's all about well next year that big planning session isn't going to be as big but the whole point of doing this in, in three month bursts is that you're bringing your core team with you along the journey because it's a team thing and then you're going to re-motivate them keep that momentum going Take them off site and keep that momentum going. Reassess, replan, re-execute. I hope this makes sense. If there's any questions, please get in touch. I'd love to help. In the meantime, this is Shay saying, have a great day.